this is the parable of the sower and it appears in three times in the bible in matthew mark and luke and i'll set put the links on if you want to find it and the parable of the sower relates back to a time when people would have sown their seeds out of a bag and they'd have taken the seeds out of their bag and thrown them on the ground like that. Some of the seeds went on to a hard surface and those seeds were very, very quickly eaten by the birds, came down and ate them. So they didn't grow. There was nowhere for them to put their roots anyway. The ones that went in between the stones actually stood a bit more chance because they had places for their roots to grow but there was nothing to nourish the plants so those plants just withered and died and then the ones that went in amongst the brambles were squashed by the brambles anyone who's had brambles in their garden knows that nothing grows in amongst them and that was true of those seeds but the ones that, were, that landed, fortunately, on the good soil, actually grew and grew so well that the farmer was able to harvest them. Now, this story, the disciples didn't really understand this story at all. So Jesus had to explain it to them. And what he said was, for the seed is the word of God. Those on the edge of the path are people who hear the word, but before it takes root in their heart, the devil comes and carries it off. The man who hears it on the rocky ground is the one who welcomes it at first, but his enthusiasm doesn't last. And the first time he's put to the test, the word withers and dies because it has nowhere to root. The one who receives it in the thorny path is the one who hears the word, but is more concerned with everything else that's going on around him, with the material things of life. And the word is choked by the lure of riches. But the one who receives it in the rich soil is the one who hears and truly understands and shares his harvest with others. So that's something for us to think about. What kind of a person are we going to be? What kind of a seed are we going to be? Are we going to be the one who, where the word of God lands on the, on the rock? on the stony ground, in the brambles, or in the good soil. Have a think about that.